everyone, welcome back to the fabrication shop. Today we're going to be installing three more items on our rocket. That's going to include the shock core mount up at the top of the rocket, the launch lug, which will be located about midway down the rocket, and then the engine ring retainer, which will go at the base of the rocket. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and secure our motor retaining ring to the motor mount of the rocket. So the first thing I want to do is take my motor ring and I want to take a little bit of sandpaper and just lightly sand the inside of the ring. The ring is made of plastic and it's rather smooth. If we run our sandpaper around it will give it a little bit rougher feature and that will give the epoxy something to hold on to and we'll do the same thing to our motor mount again all we want to do is just slightly scuff it up Next, we're going to go ahead and use our five minute epoxy. And this is going to secure the motor ring in place. It's a two part epoxy. So you have a resin and a hardener. And we want to mix these in equal amounts, mix them together, and then we'll apply that to the motor mount and then attach the ring to the motor mount so it doesn't take an awful lot let's see we're just using a small amount here A little bit goes a long way. Now when you mix this, you want to mix it together really well. And hopefully you can see how it changes color just a little bit. It goes from both parts being mostly clear to being slightly cloudy. And as you see that, that's how you know you've got a good mix. And you notice I'm wearing gloves. Uh, you don't want to get this stuff on your hands, on your skin. It's called 5 Minute Epoxy because it gives you 5 minutes of working time. Which doesn't seem like a lot. But on a project such as this, it is actually plenty of time. We've got a nice even coat on the motor mount. We'll now take our ring, slide it on. I like to rotate a little bit to help get the epoxy even all the way around the motor mount. So we'll let that dry. And when that's dry, we'll move on to the launch lug. Okay, the next step in our process is going to be locating where the launch lug goes and gluing it in place. So the first thing we're going to do is take and draw a line midway between the two sets of fins. It doesn't have to be a long line. We can now look at our instruction sheet and see that the bottom of the launch lug is located six inches from the bottom of the motor mount. So we'll once again take our little ruler, place the bottom of it against the end of the body tube.
and make a mark at six inches. And we'll take a little bit of glue and run it right down the middle of our launch lug. And then we'll simply line the lug on the line and we'll let that dry. One of the things you may notice is as you look at the launch lug you can see where there's some gaps. If you take a toothpick you can smooth that out. If it's a little too thin Simply add a little bit of glue to your toothpick and again, just smooth it right on out. And this will do two things. One, it'll reinforce the joint where the launch lug is located. The other thing it does is it makes it a nice smooth fillet just like we had on the fence. The last thing that we're going to do is glue our shock cord mount inside the body tube. When you glue your shock cord mount in, you need to push it in as far as you can with your finger. So based on that, as I get ready to glue, put the glue in the body tube, I'll go ahead and mark about how deep my finger goes on my little glue stick. This gives me a guide, just like we did when we were putting the motor mount in. So we'll take it, load it up with some glue, and now we'll simply start putting some glue. And remember, you only have to put it on the one area you don't need to spread it all around the inside of the tube, just the one little area. Now take your shock cord mount, run it in just as far as you can get it. It should slide through that glue that you've just laid down inside. You want your cord coming pretty much straight out of the body tube at this point. So here you can see inside the body tube, you can see how we've got glue spread all over top and around and underneath the shock cord mount. And we're gonna let all of that glue dry. So as you can see, everything is in place. Our glue has dried, everything looks really good. We're now ready to move on to the payload section and the recovery system. So until next time, take care.